Hi guys, I'm Rubbish WL2 Man, and today I've got a video for you which is going to be on my Volksturm uniform. That's well, not really a uniform, but anyway. So, start off with Volksturm was in, well, thought up of and uh, first implemented around about September 1944, and it was an, basically the German version of the Home Guard and was to anticipate the Allied invasion of Germany. It was also thought up of that it would hopefully gather 7 million men. Um, I think it only managed to gather 2 million, I'm not sure about that, but anyway. So they were you they were usually had no uniforms. Some of them did have uniforms, well quite a few actually had uniforms, but um, the impression I do I don't have a uniform. Um, so I'm just wearing an ordinary civilian suit, jacket, and trousers, and civilian shoes. You can see them because I can't see my camera. So anyway. So yeah, and standard uh, flat cap, which was very standard at the time. Most workers wore those. Uh, well, my character is 18, I should say. Um, I'll have left the, uh, the, the youth, um, and I went to work in a factory, and now I've asked the Fatherland's call to be part of the Walksturm. So, yeah, there were, some of the units were actually very good, because they would also use old men, and those old men included lots of First World War veterans, um, so the veterans knew lots of um, good ways of how to defeat soldiers, but um, the slight problem with them is quite a few of those First World War soldiers um, had also been had their kind of their view on society kind of knocked, so they basically didn't. Some of them just didn't want to fight. Um, so you did get horrible instances of. Where Volksturm units get told to hold up a hold a position like there was an area, I think it's something like 75 kilometers from Berlin, and the Volksturm were told to hold it, and the uh, the Russians brought out big speakers saying surrender, surrender, and you'll all be fine, you'll all be well treated, and the Volksturm were naive enough to believe that, and they surrendered. They surrendered one of the, the well, no, the last proper defensive line of, of Berlin really with virtually no fighting and this basically led to the Russians being able to just launch um, a, a rather good assault on to Berlin and the Volksturm that surrendered almost certainly were put into the Gulags and almost certainly were killed. Um, anyway, so Anyway, enough on the background history of it. Um, so yeah, my Volksturm man uh, I, that I represent would be one that was fighting in the west, not the east, because I've well, got more of a chance of surviving in the west. Um, anyway, so yeah, and I wouldn't be one of the ones that, um, that basically just surrendered immediately after uh, uh, the fall of Admiral Donitz's government. I wouldn't have been um, that pathetic to surrender then, because I mean, you you decide to join an army. You don't just as soon as the government fails, you don't surrender. Because I mean, if we were to Britain would have been to invaded and then the government would have surrendered, um, I bet you a large amount of the population would have continued fighting, um, like the Hungarians would have probably done that. So anyway, weapons. I'm armed with Gewehr 98. Uh, well, actually, it's a Cabina 98 or K98, which is basically it was a Gewehr 98. But after the First World War, the German uh, Weimar Republic government uh, remodeled and issued 
go in at the Gavir 98s and turn them into the K98 or Carabiner 98, um, which basically meant they drilled a hole for the thing in the stock. But this one has had the um, original Gavir 98 slings left. It's had um, a little part here added. Well, actually, this whole part I think is actually from Malnica um, rifle or um, an M24 rifle, but anyway. That's off the point. Um, this rifle was um, originally, I probably think, issued to a Volkswagen member, or possibly it could have been a member of the SS, I'm not sure. Um, so it looks like it might have Totenkopf uh, heads on it. I mean, this one was then sent to, uh, captured by the Soviets, and uh, sent to help the, uh, the communist Chinese, or it was captured by the Western Allies, and sent to help the uh, nationalist Chinese government in their civil war, and then it was captured by the communists. Either way, it was captured by the communists, as you can see here. It has the communist star on it, and um, it's got the armory number uh, and the, the inventory number here. Also, you can see that it here, you can't see, but here it's had the sights replaced, and these have been replaced with sights for the Chinese Model 21 Shanghai Shek Rifle, I believe. It, so the sights don't fit and they swivel around a lot. Don't know how they managed to get them on, but they did. And they replaced it. Anyway, it's got the K98K, um, Mauser K98K uh, upper wood part here, so it doesn't fit. Um, and you can tell it's been placed and it's got the yellow number one written underneath it. Anyway, so enough on that. Standard kinetic K sling, and um, yeah, it's also had uh, this part has been modified as well because it cannot take, uh, or it's been some, it's something that it shouldn't be because it can't take a kinetic bayonet, kinetic K bayonet, I should say. Let's look, so my kinetic K bayonet doesn't want to fit. Um, so, yep, there's that. That's my first weapon. Caliber was 7.92mm and it was fed by five round clips. Bolt action, obviously. Got some clips for it. So, for example, this is just one clip. The bullets on the rounds on this are quite old, so you can just knock that off. A large amount of Volkstrom units were issued with Gavir 98s and some were issued with um, So some Volkstrom units were issued with Gavir 98s, some were issued, were issued with um, for captured issued French rifles, um, such as the Mauser 36 and uh, the Berlin Volkssturm were issued with the MP3008, uh, which is basically a stand gun. Um, but the thing about it is, the difference between the Sten Gun and MP3008 is that the MP3008 has the magazine on the bottom here, like an MP40. The really dumbass thing that the idiot who invented it did was that he made it so that it couldn't take an MP40 magazine. So, basically, what it was was you issued with one Sten Gun, one MP3008 one magazine. So that meant you go 
take the magazine out, put the uh, MP3 double down, sling it over your shoulder, reach it inside your pocket, pull out a whole load of um, spare 9mm rounds, holding him in free um, quite fast by hand, and then the Russians are on top of you and you're dead, basically. Uh, anyway, so other weapons. 24 stick grenade, Stilhand Granate, M25, Stilhand Granate, um, standard German grenade of the Second World War. Um, so basically, charging this end, there'd be a piece of string attached to a detonating thing runs all the way down here. I'll screw this part, it should be metal cap. This is a, a wooden replica, by the way. Anyway, so unscrew that, right at the end so the person ball comes out, press the person ball, pull it, and then depending on what fuse you've got, you've either got 0 seconds, 1 second, 4.5 seconds, or 7.5 seconds. And the standard one is 4.5 seconds, the delay, the, but it could be used as boom traps. Where they take out the delay fuse completely, so basically pull it and it goes boom immediately. So they would be left with a dead body, and so another trooper would then be ambushed. I need a grenade, kills them and everyone around them. These were mainly shock weapons, they had the M43, uh, which was well, there was the M43 shroud, I should say, which was added to this, uh, which was basically. I think it goes over the top of this, the head, and it basically acts as a fragmentation. So it acts as a fragmentation and a blast grenade, which makes it one of the, if not the best, weapon uh, the Germans had. So another grenade I have is this, which is M39 egg grenade. This is the booby trap variant, because it's got the grey head, um, and because the M39 egg grenade was exactly the same purpose. Well, not purpose, but like design. Um, apart from it, missed out the handle. So you don't screw this part. Out comes the string. No porcelain ball. Hold on to this. So, of course, it's a replica, otherwise, I'm dead. I wouldn't be pulling the thing if it was a real one. Um, so, yep, um, these, I think there was something like, quite a few of these, maybe something like 20 million of these, I'm not sure, a large amount of these, because they were easier to produce than these, because they didn't have all the wood, and they were made of cheaper as well, um, so, yep, next weapon I have, I have Hit the Youth Dagger, Scabbard has broken, which pisses me off like hell. Um, because I was in Hit the Youth before I became a factory worker. So it's pretty, uh, it would be a mid, mid war star one. Apart from that, there aren't really any examples like this because it's got the motto on the blade, which would be for the early war the daggers. And the that part, which is called the Wakaso should be shorter and it should have the swastika stamp and the company stamp if it's an early war one it should be because it's got that and they should be that should be pebble dashed the red on the top so should be pebble dashed um so yeah that's basically what this dagger um would be should be but seeing as it's got the late war thing there and uh, the late war thing there just be a whole lot easier if they hadn't been glued air, which is a Hitler Youth model, motto on there. But so what, I really like the Hitler Youth model and motto, and I like the fact that it has it on it, but so what. Um, anyway, so bayonet, I have an M24 uh, bayonet, or, or the B VZ24 bayonet. Uh, oh, actually, this is a Siamese bayonet. Who cares? Anyway, so. Yep. Right, slightly damaged here. That's a bit of a shame, but. 
so what? Anyway, so now I shall tell you about these these ammunition pouches. You might have noticed them. You might be thinking, what the hell are they? Uh, and you just need to get on to them because I've been really interested in him saying. So these are Yugoslavian M24 ammunition pouches, not the M48. The M48 was basically an M24 just with the crappy Yugos Yugoslavian communist crest on it. Um, the M24 came first. I think people need to realise that the M48 is actually just the M24 and they should stop calling it the M48 because it's not. Um, anyway, so ammunition patches. This one has a date on and a whole of company stamping. I'll just show you this. It's up there. I've just got some paper in it to fill it out. I don't know if you can see that very well. Does the camera want to focus? Anyway, there it is. So that's the only stamp I found on these armor patches. I got three of these for Christmas. Here's the third one. It looks like it's older. Um, that's those. Now, you might have wondered about the belt buckle too. It's not that bringing you back in the forwards, but this is the special box drum belt buckle. It says Trondheide on the top, which, anyway, um, So, yeah, I'm on my right here. I have uh, my bread bag. This one is my hit and use one. I can't show you this because it's hard to kind of show you what I'm doing. Uh, it is it. Somewhere around here, there's a frigging date. There. That's the, the thing. Which has got the date on, and it's got all the things that's from 1935. Some idiots painted it a different colour, but who cares? Still good in my eyes. So, yep, now my special pieces of uniform that identify me five years of auction, apart from my own civilian clothing, and the fact that I have Yugoslavian ammunition patches, um, and all that is this. This is a Volkswagen armband, reproduction, like the belt buckle I should have mentioned. Belt buckle, buckle was reproduction. Has Reichadler there. It says Deutsche Volkssturm Wehrmacht, uh, and there's another eagle there. And it's basically all the same red and white and black background all the way around it. So the Volkssturm uh, basically stands for People's Storm. Um, so yeah, they did have special weapons created for them, such as there was the VG-5, I think it was VG-15 was invented for them, which is basically kind of like a, an SDG-44 but different. Um, because it used to set SDG 44 and ammunition. Anyway, virtually none of them were produced, but they were issued. Because I have seen, I've seen Deutsche Rockenschau of um, Rockstrom being issued with uh, with VG 15s, SDG 44s, and they look incredibly well kitted out. Um, anyway, so it's just this is just kind of like my poor Volkssturm uniform. I shall now move on to my slightly richer Volkssturm uniform.